Hi, I'm Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'd like to talk with you about how to find and remove a hidden Trojan from your PC. Now, Trojan is a malware application that does things like installs other malware in your system, and those pieces of malware or malicious software might do things like steal data or damage your hard drive or, or monitor your activity, or maybe even get your computer installed into what's known as a botnet where it's kind of a robot that, you know, and maybe at night when you're in bed, your computer's off doing stuff like spreading spam or other malware. Um, so you really want to get these things off there. But if it's hidden, you don't know about it, maybe you just notice that uh, your web browser doesn't work right and it redirects you to other websites when you're trying to go somewhere or it's sluggish or it crashes. So you could have a Trojan on there and uh, you don't know which one it is, you don't know which tool it is, so uh, the best way to approach that is to go after it with what I call a shotgun approach and use multiple uh, anti-malware tools to go after it. Now, there's four tools that I really like to use and they're freely available on the internet. Uh, one of them is uh, Super Anti-Spyware, another one is Malware Bytes, another one is Spybot Search and Destroy, and another one is Spy Hunter. They're all freely available. You can get paid versions too if you'd like, but you don't have to go with the paid versions. They have neat features, but they they, you don't need them to disinfect your PC. You just need to get these tools, uh, download them and install them. And when they install, they're each gonna wanna update what are known as their virus definitions, or maybe they call them antivirus definitions. But they have definitions that they use to detect and go after these uh, pieces of malware. So you want to let them update those to the most recent versions, and then they're going to want to uh, go and disinfect your PC, but you don't want to do that yet. What you want to do is uh, get them updated and then reboot your PC into safe mode. Now, to, to reboot your PC into safe mode, you just tap the F key, excuse me, the F8 key while it's rebooting, and you'll get presented a screen like this that will show you the various boot options. Just pick safe mode. Don't go with network or uh, any uh, other type of mode that might give network capability in safe mode because these pieces of malware may be able to dial back to a home base or something and get help. You don't want that. You want to have them isolated. You want to give your anti-malware applications the best possibility of disinfecting your PC. So once you're up in safe mode, you're going to want to run each tool one after the other. Um, they're going to want to run uh, and that it'll take them a while to do it. So let them go, and when they get done, they're gonna present you with a list of what they found with recommended actions of what to do with them. Uh, take the actions, let the, the anti-malware software get rid of the problems for you, but then they're gonna wanna reboot. Don't let them. Just exit the tool, go on to the next one, and just do that through the list of tools that you installed until you get to the very last one <clears throat> let it reboot your system and then any hidden Trojans or hidden, you know, whatever that they could find are going to be all cleaned off. Your system will be nice and clean. And since you use so many tools, you've got some really good coverage on them. But with all those tools installed now, they're going to want to compete with uh, your system resources to protect your systems. So you're going to want to uninstall some of them and maybe leave just one of them installed so it can have its virus or antivirus database updated on a regular basis so in case you get reinfected you can just go and run it but then the other ones that you un uninstalled don't delete their install packages leave them on your system somewhere because some pieces of malware you know once you get them on your system they won't let you go out and download that stuff so if you do this you'll have them already right there you can install them and update them and you're, you'll be good to go um, you want to get the stuff off of there, you want to use a shotgun approach, and it'll get your system cleaned up and you'll be good to go. So my name is Matt Pierce. Today we talked about removing hidden Trojans from your PC. Thank you very much for watching.